I, Stephen, I, Stephen, take you, Megan, take you, Megan, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death, until we are parted. By death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. And if you'll repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Megan. I, Megan. Take you, Stephen. Take you, Stephen. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. Looking at us or just knowing us, you may wonder how we ever became best friends. Uh, we're so different. We have the sports cheer maniac over here, and the eclectic artist in Elise, and I'm the normal one, so. <laughs> uh, we have very little in common, but there is something special between the three of us. We've all, y'all hush. <laughs> we are extremely picky when it comes to the person we date. Megan has always had an extensive list of characteristics she wanted in a partner, and that is why we were single for all those years. We weren't going to waste our time on just anyone, especially when we were able to make memories together. I remember it like it was four years ago. Megan calling up and saying she had met this guy. She played indoor soccer, or he played indoor soccer with her. At their last game, he came over and introduced himself. And I remember when she called me to tell me about him. And she kept going back and forth about whether or not she should message him on Facebook or not. Or should she wait? Well, she decided to wait. And then on November 11th, it happened. He messaged her. <laughs> I knew right away that there was something special about him. She had never been so excited about a guy before. We didn't know what we were going getting into at this time. But we weren't sure if we were ready to share our friend have much of an option though. The New Year's Eve after they met, the three of us were of course together again. Stephen was coming to Atlanta to celebrate the New Year with some friends and it was a perfect time for us to finally meet him. Stephen had no idea that this is the ultimate test. If we didn't like him, we most certainly wouldn't be standing here today. Well, remember when I said we would get back to wings and things? Well, this was the restaurant of choice that night. Every time we went there in high school, Meg was the one to make sure that nothing was left behind. Every wing and fry was eaten. As this was our first impression meeting Steven, we were of course on our best behavior and that mean eating wings like a lady. Uh, which of course meant Megan left some food behind on her plate to not appear, you know. Uh, but casually Steven looked over at her plate, noticed the leftover food and grabbed it and said, you can't leave this. When this happened, Rachel and I looked at each other and smiled. It was at this moment when we knew that they were meant to be together. Fast forward to the present and we're thrilled to see their adventures finally bring them here. From the beginning, we knew this was going to be something special. Steven, there's no getting rid of us now. We've just gained a fourth leg to our tripod for many more memories to be made together. Congratulations, Steven and Megan. Here's looking at you.